There are different terminologies in real estate. I'm going to call it old terminology versus new terminology. Not as good practices and best practices for terminology. Why am I bringing this up? Because for me, it's come up so many times where I have miscommunicated things with my clients and it's cost me deals because I was not able to properly communicate what was going on. A lot of the times this came up in listing appointments and I was trying to describe to them what and why their house was worth what it was worth. And if you're using abbreviations for things, if you're using acronyms for things, the general public does not do this every day. They're not going to know that. So one of the first one is comps, okay? What's a comp? Okay, not everybody's familiar with that terminology. And a lot of times people are gonna say, what the heck are you talking about? They may just nod their head and smile and not tell you what's going on. So a better word for comp, obviously comparable property, would be relevant properties. Think about that when you're doing on a listing appointment. These are the relevant properties to your property. Would you prefer to be going on a listing appointment or a marketing consultation? It changes the dynamic when you change some of the terminology. Well, this may come up when you're showing a property. How do you put a positive spin on road noise? Well, it's urban surf, okay? Maybe it's funny to some people. Maybe it's just a positive spin on it that we're not talking about the negatives. Maybe you sell that house that much quicker. This is one terminology that I would highly recommend people use, okay? Because it comes up so much in real estate sales. The word divorce, it can be polarizing. Change it to marital transition. There's not as much stigma associated with that. And that's what I'm trying to show people here is take that negative stigma associated with a certain word or the word isn't quite understood by everybody and change it to a more positive spin on it. And it's something they clearly understand what that means. So old versus new real estate terminology. The old one is commission. The new one is professional service fee. The old one is listing presentation. The new one is marketing consultation. Sales or closed transaction versus the new terminology of real buyers. The old terminology of agent versus the new of real estate professional, which sounds better to you. Certain terminology that you use can help to close deals because you can better connect and better communicate with your new clients or current clients.